Hey everybody, welcome back to another Tuesday video. My name is Brad and if you're new around here, I make music. Today I wanted to make this video to share a little bit of news and a little trick I've been using on the OP1. So first, let's start with the news. This might be uh, bad news depending on who you are. Um, I've had the pleasure of working from home, doing video editing work and stuff. That's how I make my living. Um, I've had the pleasure of doing that from home since about last August or so, but uh, starting this Friday in a few days from now, I will be under a contract that's gonna require me to work out of their office. So uh, that's gonna definitely slow down my output and you probably won't see me around quite as often. I am gonna try to put out some stuff, but uh, the last time I worked for these guys, my schedule was pretty hectic and I didn't have a whole lot of free time at all. So. Let's just say I won't be around for about a month or so. So that's the news that I want to share with you guys. I will be a little less consistent in my videos for the next month or so, but I also wanted to share this quick little trick I've been using on the OP-1 to add some texture to my drones. Uh, it's using an LFO, it's the value LFO, and I'm just now starting to kind of figure out some of these LFOs. So if you are familiar with them, this might not be a helpful tip for you, um, but if you're not, let me just show you what I do to give my drums a little bit of texture. All right, so here we are in the OP-1. Let's just jump right into the drum engine here. And we've got the neoprene kit selected, which is kind of our 80s kit. And then we're gonna go over to our LFO, which uh, we can go into Shift-4, and that allows you to select your LFO. And we wanna be down in the value LFO. So what you have here, uh, and the first box here is the speed. Your blue dial controls that. Then you've got the amount, uh, and that is dependent on what this guy over here is. So this is the amount. Uh, it can go negative 100 all the way up to positive 100. And then we've got what we are affecting here, and right now we are just affecting the drums. And right here, this selects what part of the drums we are going to be affecting. So, what I do, I take the blue down to around, I started off around two, we always adjust later on by ear, uh, and then I take the amount here, and it's usually somewhere around 50, keep it on the drums, and then, I believe, it's one of these uh, grayed out dots here on this wheel. It's not the solid colors. And then I just uh, keep kind of playing with it until it sounds interesting. There it is. All right. So what you're hearing is it kind of a uh, almost makes the drum hit sound like it swells into the next one. And actually, let me show you what it's doing. So if you go into the drum engine, uh, the, the sound sampler selection area, whatever you want to call this, you can see when I hit the note, it's affecting uh, a few things here. And if we hit the shift button, what it's doing is at the very end of that hit, it's triggering reverse playback. So, yeah, you can uh, uh, mess with the amount here, and you know, you can get all kinds of different crazy sounds with it. See right there, it sounds like a nice uh, gated reverb or something. And then just to show you what it sounds like with it off, with it on. All right, guys, so that is the LFO trick I've been using to give my drums on the OP-1 some texture. If you found it helpful, please click the like button down below. It actually helps my channel out quite a bit. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I would also love to know what kind of LFO tricks you guys using on the OP-1. Like I said, I'm just starting to wrap my head around it, so I have plenty to learn, and I'd love to hear your guys' tips. And until next time, hopefully, which is sooner rather than later, I will see you guys around. Thanks for watching. Bye.